Hey, how's it going? I'm Rami from Rama Time, and welcome along to this, a very exciting video, at least for me anyway. There will be a hundred million of these videos out there, but I don't care because I just want to do it anyway. This has been a really exciting moment for me for this game to finally come out. We're talking about Half-Life Alex. Like I say, you'll know all about it, so I will just get in. Obviously, I'm in a new environment. That's because I'm in my new office. I don't have quite as much room as I used to have this little play space, about two meters by about 1.8 or something. My boundaries have to go over things, so therefore I will probably hit things you can see there's a few scuffs and marks, thanks to works. I'm gonna give it a go anyway and see how we get on. So, I've got the index, I've got the knuckle controllers. Let's just get in there and start playing this game. I'm genuinely so excited. Boom. Ah, <laughs> oh, the head starts to turn. Oh, I love it. Okay. The menu in this game is beautiful, I can tell you already. <laughs> Let's have a quick look. We've got to start with the options. It's all, it's the law. Preferences. Oh, hang on. Okay, I can't change. Do you know what? I just want to play it, I think. Performance though, we will check in there. High fidelity, ultra fidelity. I've got 20, was it? I've got a very powerful graphics card. I forget the number now. <laughs> it's got a two in it. Um, I'm going to try it on high ultra fidelity. Let's. Let's try that. Oh look, we can go in and we can tweak it. Let's just leave that as, as it is. Then. So difficulty, normal, challenging, hard, story. Let's do it on normal. Movement, blink, I certainly don't want teleport or shift. Well, it's gotta be continuous based on head. That's the only way to do it. Weapon hand, right. Ah, oh, there we go. And accept. <laughs> Sorry, I am a child. Just wow. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Sorry, I. I've been stood here just trying to take this in and I've, uh, it's even moaning at me to start playing the game because because I couldn't stop looking at everything. So, oh, look, we can pull the aerial up and we can twiddle. Oh. Am I, even, am I supposed to be doing anything with this? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yes, all right, I can. <laughs> nice. So close. <laughs> I like the fact that they've put books covered in text in there. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, I want to get, I want to hit one of them. Damn. That's it, that's the one. <laughs> he didn't care. Can we throw a watering can at him? We can, we can pick up a watering can. Go on. <laughs> There's so much stuff here. Uh, moldy apples. Go, go, go away. There's a cat. Hang on. Oh. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <gasps> <laughs> that is amazing. They made it so the cat reacts if you throw something at it. That's brilliant. I actually now feel bad that I was just throwing things at a cat. Right. Anyway, let's get on. It looks so good. I'm definitely hitting that pigeon. <laughs> Incoming call. Go on then. I was about. To... I was going to talk.
Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry guys, I wasn't really listening. Good game, that. Look at the the fidelity. It looks so good. Well, what did you think I was drawing? What do I need to do anyway? I need to do something probably puzzly. I can only imagine that this looks amazing on the screen, and. It looks so much better in here. Or that I, oh, I'm so used to pressing down on there for that to be a crouch, and instead it's a zoomy teleporty thing, which is a bit silly. I'd rather have a crouch, to be honest with you. And I, I don't have one, but only because I'm lazy. I don't need a crouch. Just sometimes I don't want to have to reach the floor. Oh, okay. So the hand automatically grabs the handle. That's nice. And the light works. I like that. Oh, I'm back out here again. Oh, I'm, oh I was throwing loads of stuff. Whoa! running cables. I'm standing on a pot plant. That is, that was crazy. Look at the damage. Oh, I need to throw a bucket. I'm so happy. I should have got that guy. I want to hit one of those guys down there. I keep hitting that <laughs> pole. Right, anyway. Nice brickwork. Yeah, little fella. You hear that when you tap the glass. Oh, and I can pick up a chair and take it outside and throw it into the street. Just like you would in real life. Not coffee. What is it then? <laughs> I'm feeding it. I got an achievement. Good grub. I can draw. I'm probably supposed to be reading this. There's a lot to read there though. More cables. So it's all about running cables. Clipboard. Everybody loves a clipboard. Okay. Ooh. It's a camera. Oh, we've got a lift. Of course we've got a lift. I love a lift. Alright, but I'm not coming over until I've got this. And I've got my gooey. <laughs> you can squeeze it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Sorry. I got a squeezy bottle. <laughs> uh, 
As I say, I'm a child. Oh dear. Feels like old Half Life. Only much prettier. That just doesn't get tiring. <laughs> Made a lot of mess over there. Right, anyway, enough messing about. What am I doing? There's there's loads to look at. So much stuff. Someone's sitting up there. I wonder if I can get a cone up that high. Whoa, I hit the ceiling. Sweep! The bicycle! Oh, it's physics! Wow! I can sweep the bicycle! <laughs> can I come in there? No. Who was that? Oh, I missed that. Who was that? Hey! Oh, that was the guy I was throwing the cone at. You forgot your ashtray. Can I put a bin on my head? My hand's stuck inside it. There we go. No. Can I put a plant pot on my head? No. Just smashes. You can pick up everything! <laughs> Can't crouch though. Right, grab ladder to climb up. Okay. Oh yeah. That's better. Whoa. Oh, there we go. I was getting a little bit confused there. Right. Yeah, <laughs> just like the old school one. Run, 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 run. <laughs> the detail is effing beautiful. I feel like I should have been able to just climb in there, but all right. Whee! Oh, we're back in the lift. was awesome. <laughs> oh, so it's 
load in the next chapter or whatever. So a quick uh, comfort break. This is amazing. We need more of this. Imagine coming home to your mailbox and someone has posted a dead rat to you. And with a hand still in it. Right, my hand is still ugh! That's like a thing. Like a rat up a drain pipe. Do we come back? This is now my pet. And you're now called Basil. Basil! <laughs> oh, there's just so much stuff! Wow, a spadey, shovely thing. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Let's send him over. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I do wish they'd let me just jump. That, that would be nicer. Some of those titties out. <laughs> what up? I brought you a rat. Oh, it's the old playground. Oh, thank you. Right. Well, it's got to be done. Right, you, why is why are you taking my hand with you? Oh, that's lovely. Wee. Was that fun, Basil? Sorry. Sorry, I just need to pull your head off. Right. Anyway, very easy to get distracted in this game. Oh. 
Hmm, this is going to prove to be a tricky. Apparently it's not. successfully mantled, Basil. just used to spend all the time inside all the buildings throwing everything out of the window and I do the same in this one if I could only throw it out of the window the cushions the cushions do you want a nice little comfy? oh that looks comfy doesn't it Basil well tough that's going out of the window as well uh, not enough writing on the books yes the pinky is out. They totally ripped that off of me. <laughs> what have we got? Ooh. Basil, don't get involved. I found a button and I want to press it. Oh. Right. Let's stand to the side. Boop. Oh. Mm. Hello. Do you want to calm down? A rat! Oh, hologrammatic yeah. in presentations. The rat. Sorry, I just threw a bottle of wine at you. Kiss the rat. What's this? What is this? Is this yours? All right. Russell. Ha ha ha. Okay. Look at all of these. Look, there's two cards that are welded together. Oh, it's just so cool. Right, look, there's a fan. Russell, do you want a fan? Sorry. Uh, oh, a gnome bottle opener. Oh, mate, I need to carry this, don't I, to the end. But I've got a rat. The rat or the gnome. Oh, man. Oh, right, there's a lot to look at. Oh, it's, it's sealed up. Oh, it's disgusting. Look at this, look at this stuff. It's a lettuce basil, look. No, 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 no. You like courgettes, don't you? Oh, I don't know, should I take that? Well, there goes my known bottle opener. It's just you and me, Basil. There's a blue screen. Hmm. Whoa. Nice. 
You ready, Basil? You first. didn't catch it but I got the achievement as if I did. That's not the ammo. I can't quite get the angle on this. <laughs> I suspect that if you get good at this you can look really really cool but I'm not good at it. holding this gun. Right. I want, I need a holster or something. Oh, over your shoulder. Okay. Well, imagine if a turkey fell down or something. Thanks, Russell. Hey, you got to the end of the video, thanks. I take it then you wouldn't mind if I just mentioned I made a VR game. Well, it was myself and a friend actually, and he's the clever one. But anyway, it's called Stocksend House, and it's a story-driven escape the room type game, which is creepy and atmospheric and doesn't entirely rely on jump scares. It's available on Steam right now, so if you have VR, go grab it and have some fun. I'll see you in the next video.